Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to do OBS Studio interactions at the click of a button. So transitioning from scene to scene and all of that good stuff, all in this video, you're gonna learn how to do it. So let's just get right to it. Let's go. Okay, first thing you wanna do is go to elgato.com. That's E-L-G-A-T-O.com. You wanna go there, and then when you get there, you'll see a screen similar to this. So when you get there, just go to the downloads, wherever it might be on the screen. Currently, it's over here. So we're gonna hit downloads. And after you get to the downloads, you're gonna to go to the drop down, select your product. We're currently working with the Stream Deck. So we're gonna select Stream Deck. You wanna select your operating system is Mac or Windows, like so. So we're gonna choose Windows, and then you're gonna hit Download. Once you download, we already downloaded it, but once you download it, you're just gonna simply install the files. So you're gonna install it just like you would do any other application. Very straightforward, very simple. Once it's installed, you'll see a screen similar to this here, right? Now, I pulled the OBS Studio docs here so you can see the scenes that we have set up and the sources within each different scene. So in our guest scene, we have our the, these sources and you know, full scene, we have these sources. So how the sources are different and how we're gonna set that up on Stream Deck. So for one, we'll be able to transition from scene to scene, but then also be able to toggle different sources depending on the scene, right? But mainly, when you open uh, when you open the Stream Deck application, it will look similar to this here. So this is OBS Studio, this is Stream Deck. So once you open the Stream Deck application, you have multiple different options. It's very straightforward with how to set this up. And you can see this, these buttons reflect what is on your actual what's on your actual stream deck. So if you selected the right product, then you should have the correct buttons on there as well. On the right side, you'll see a menu of all of the different options or groups that you have to create interactions for with your buttons. Now, because we have, we're using OBS Studio, we wanna go to the OBS Studio dropdown. So we wanna just toggle that on and it'll show you all the different OBS Studio options. And that works similarly to if you are just doing game capture, sound, if you want soundboard functionality, if you want Stream Deck function, functionality, if you want Stream Labs desktop functionality, if you want system functionality, Twitter, so on, so forth, it pretty much is just like that. So we want OBS Studio functionality. We're gonna go in that, go into this and hit these drop down buttons. And what this does is communicate with OBS Studio, right? So let's just set up our first button, right? You wanna click, drag, hold, and just drag it over to where you wanna set up. And as you might see, now on our, on our stream deck, it shows the button has been assigned. Now the button looks just like this on the Stream Deck. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see um, because the lens doesn't like to take in the LED, but it looks similar to this. So as you see us assign buttons, you can start to see these different buttons start to light up. So just pay attention to that. So one of the things you want to do is just label your button. So this is the record button. You want to label it record. You want to label it in both, make sure it's labeled in both on and off mode. So that's how you do the record button. Now let's say you don't like this icon or you wanna change this icon. You could do this one of two ways. The easiest way is hit the plus sign there and pl the plus sign will show you all of the different icons that Elgato offers. So you can pretty much select any of these and it would assign it to that icon. I don't necessarily wanna select any of those, but another alternative is you can hit this drop down button and you would have the options of setting a file, creating a new icon, and open a Stream Deck icon library. Again, setting a file, you can create your own icons, custom icons just for your Stream Deck, and customize it fully to your liking. I'm gonna leave it at default for the sake of this video, but if you wanna learn more about that, just let me know, comment, I wanna change icons, or comment icons in the video, and I'll make sure we make a video about how to customize your icons for your Stream Deck. But with that being said, let's just continue on. So we have the record button. We wanna do a stream button, so let's add a stream button by click, drag, and hold, and we're gonna name it stream, right? Make sure it has it's for both on and off, and it's running both on and off. The next thing we wanna do, and you kinda wanna work in, if you wanna, 
I, I recommend, let's say, I recommend you wanna work in this fashion, like working from the top to the bottom. So we know we wanna record, we know we wanna stream. Those are the two things we know we want to do. Now we have scenes. So we're gonna go ahead and start to assign our scenes. So let's just add the scenes. With this scene, this is gonna be the whole scene. Boom, make sure it's on both of them. We're gonna do another scene. This is gonna be the full scene as here. So full. I'm gonna just bring them all in right now and then I will assign them. Right, now we're gonna assign these. So as you see, we labeled it a whole scene, but that doesn't necessarily assign it. We need to go ahead and link it. So under scenes here, you want to hit that drop down menu and you see it automatically populates what you have in your in your OBS studio. So we're going to do that. You can you can pretty much do it in preview or program. Preview mode allows you to when you're in studio mode, you're kind of queuing it to be able to transition. The only caveat to this is is if you do it in preview mode, you also have to set a set a transition button so you can put things into queue but then you'd have to transition transition have a button to transition and we're going to go ahead and do that we're just going to leave it in for preview right so we're going to do full scene leave it in preview uh presentation scene guest scene just like that and we're just gonna leave it in preview. So as soon as you hit the button, it'll go to preview. And as you see, these buttons are, are made in the same fashion with the same icons, with the same labeling here on your stream deck. So you will be able to hit these buttons and it will actually do the function that you would do through the application, right? So the next thing we wanna do, now that we have these scenes set up, so let's, test a couple and I have it on preview so it's not changing in my actual and I kind of like that so it'll let me know what's up next I can select one how I want it next and then when I'm ready I can go ahead and hit uh, transition so become a patreon today and support this community and support this channel you might be asking why would I want to do that well one of the reasons is we are creating coding camps and tech camps for kids and a lot of the patreon dollars will go towards setting up those coding and tech camps with equipment and all of the things that are necessary to teach younger generations how to do some of the digital media techniques that we teach here at digital realm so with that being said your patreon dollars will go towards scholarships for certain members of the digital realm community so with that being said make sure you get your membership but at the same time become a patreon if you're not really interested in becoming a member just yet let's go but let's go down the list of obs studios um options record uh record pause stream Replay buffer, replay buffer save, scene collection. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm kind of c c curious what this scene collection is about. Scene, source visibility, audio mixer, media source control, studio mode. So you can toggle in and out of studio mode, which that 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 would be um, that would be an option. Preview to program. So I, I want preview to program because again, we put these in queue as far as preview and then we want to hit them to, you know, go to program. That'll be our, these will be our quick, let's say our quick transitions from one to the other. For now, we'll just leave them there. But let's say you want to, under stream deck, you have your stream deck function, functionalities here, right? And we're gonna create create a folder. So I'm gonna create a folder here. And I'm gonna call this folder hold. That folder will be called hold. So when you click inside of that folder, see it goes into an actual another profile. We'll put all the actual sources inside of here. So we wanna put these sources in here. So we're gonna go back to 
OBS Studio, source visibility, starting, and that's in the hold scene and starting. See, it pretty much works from the top down. What scene it's in, which source it is. So now it's going to show starting when that's toggled on and off, right? Let's do the let's do the uh, other ones. So again, source visibility. We got three of them. We're gonna just pop all three of them in here. Boom. We got be right back, and we have offline. And you can arrange these however you want, how whatever feels best to you for your situation. And see, sometimes it doesn't do both. That's why I kind of check to make sure it does it on both. Because you don't want the but you don't want the text to go away when the button's on and off because you don't want to get confused. Unless you put the icon to help you out. So boom, so be right back. We want to make sure it's in the hold scene. Be right back. Offline, it's in the hold scene. Offline, just like that. And you can see, like I said before, as we build out, what's being reflected on this screen here, as we build out, is being reflected on this screen here. So I can go back using the buttons, as you just saw. And I can go forward using the buttons, like that. So we're just going to continue on. Let's do the same thing. So how my, my, I guess, strat if you want to call it a strategy, my strategy is being these buttons in the middle without having to look, I would know these buttons in the middle will put a scene in queue. And once that scene is in queue, I'm ready to transition. But if I haven't set everything up, I would click the folder at the bottom, click the folder at the bottom and make sure things are toggled on as I want them. Like I want to be starting, go back to the scene, you know, make sure it's, you know, put the, put the whole scene in queue. Then when I'm ready to transition, transition out. So it's pretty much like we're going inside of this button with these under here. So we can go inside and then when we want to come back up, we come back up to the top. All right. Um, so let's continue on. So we're going to add the sources for what was this one? We're going to add the sources for full scene, the full scene. Source visibility. What do we have here? Full scene and the full scene. We have our camera camera one and camera two in our frame so we're gonna add the frame and again you can you you know what you would want to keep and what you you know would at all times and what you would change you know depending on the circumstance um i'm remove i'm having a frame visibility turn on and off because there are certain times where we will have guests and maybe they're presenting something and i don't want the frame to be in you know frame to be impeding their presentation so we'll be able to turn it on and again you can change this all you want you can change this so both of them on we're gonna do scene full scene frame bam it's this easy scene full scene camera scene Full scene, cam two. And I think y'all pretty much get how to set this up, right? So I'm gonna just speed through the rest of this and then we will um, see where we land and when we're done.
Now, you, once you once you test your actual buttons, if it doesn't work, it'll give you like this prompt, and it just isn't assigned. So we're just gonna assign them. See this one, this one the button isn't doesn't have zoom or it doesn't have when it's toggled off the PIP it's not it doesn't have it so we're gonna make sure that is accurate for on and off. So boom, just like that. Now again what you're seeing on the screen is exactly what you'll see in your actual stream deck. So setting it up is very um very it's the same thing, same exact thing. All right, so boom. All right. So essentially, I think this is a good place to get you started. Like, again, this is how you assign different elements. This is how you are designed, assign different buttons. But again, this is how you just get started. Um, there's no, there's no magic way to make this flow for you because each individual person has an individual or uh, their own way of working. So with that being said, get creative. You kind of understand how to navigate around now and how to get OBS, uh, the stream deck and OBS studio to work together. Now it's pretty much just, you know, grabbing these elements and, you know, assigning them to buttons and making that interaction where it makes it a lot easier for you to do a presentation and you will be able to just hit a button and things would happen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more, go to digitalrim.com and become a member today. With your membership, you get access to our course library. We have all different types of digital media content creation topics that you can cover and learn for yourself. Very beginner friendly, just like this video. So with that being said, go to digitalrim.com and get your membership today. And don't forget, join our Discord community at the link below. You can get access to a lot of topics and discussions about these videos just like this from members of the Creator Camp. So with that being said, hopefully I'll see you in the Discord community in the link below. Let's go.